I'm doing, I'm curating the satellite project this year for 2012. It's the fifth edition and I've been invited to curate uh, the satellite which is for the non-conventional spaces of the Jeu de Pomme. So because the mission of the Jeu de Pomme is to the image, uh, all of the artists work with the photographic or image or the film so all of the artists, one of the criteria was that they worked with film and image and photographs. Uh, the other criteria for me was that they did not, they had not had an institutional exhibition in Paris. So they, none of them had had a big show, solo show in Paris before. And that was one of, and also that they already had an international career, but they're not very well known. None of them are very, well known to the public. So for example, now you have Ai Weiwei, who is a very, very well known artist, and Jimmy Robert, that for the most part, nobody knows who he is. So we wanted that sort of unbalanced situation. He does film, he does performance, and he does uh, drawing and dance, but he transforms images into sculptures. And so a lot of his work is he will work with a photograph that he will then transform into a drawing. So images that are, that become a sculptural object. So they're not just images on the wall. And I also wanted to, in a way, question what an image is. And if a photograph is just something that you put on the wall or can a photograph become something else like a drawing or a sculpture? And that was also for me an important thing to think of what is today an image. The other ones are uh, Tamar Guimarães, she comes from Brazil. Brazil, yes, and so she normally works with side histories of the present, so things that happen but are not told or that are told in a very uh, discreet way through conversations or through rumors. There are things that are left in the air floating and then she does picks up and is, she's very interested in the way that history is transmitted and how you tell a story and how things, some things are lost and how some things uh, just lay there. The third one is Rosa Barba. She's Italian and she lives in Berlin. And she works with film as, uh, as, a, as a material. So the, the film becomes an object as well. So uh, the way that uh, she uh, projects images, it's very much about the celluloid or the film as a materiality more than what is projected on the wall. And so she's telling a story that will have uh, different layers during the spaces of, on each space of the satellite project. And the fourth one is a Portuguese artist called Felipe Cesar. And she also works with archival image and she will do a new film and the film that Philippe is doing is based on the cinematic archive of Guinea-Bissau in Africa, which was a Portuguese colony. And during the revolution, the revolutionary re leader, he sent um, young people, four young people to uh, Cuba to learn how to make films so that they could come back and uh, shoot the revolution and then show to the people of Guinea what they were doing for completely different people. Well, it starts with an idea. So when I was invited to, to think for the satellite, for a project for the satellite, I started with having an idea of what I wanted to develop as a theme. Which was? Which it's called, the present is a foreign country. The present is a foreign country, which means that for me, I was looking at a lot of artists that are thinking about the present in terms of history. How do you think how do you make history from the present and how do you recover the present for the future? And, and the art has become a sort of archaeologist. So, and I was, I was, this is something that has been interesting me quite off for quite some time. And I wanted to develop this with a series of exhibitions. And so I proposed this theme. 
my present is very different from yours. So the way that I see sure? my present is very different. Well, it's very different from everybody. We all see the present in a different way, and that makes us almost historians of what's going on, and that was something that really interests me. Well, I'm, I was always doing exhibitions and writing about art, so this is what I do always, but in a smaller scale, uh, working in Portugal, in the UK, in Madrid, but I had never had a chance to work in a museum such as, as Je de Pomme, and in, with this institutional framework and this length of time. Did it's quite an honor. <laughs>